All right, thank you for staying with us now. October 26th, National Financial Crime Fighter Day recognizes the Bank Secrecy Act and anti-money laundry um, uh, professionals because not all superheroes wear capes. Sometimes they wear business suits, dresses, or jeans and serve in the back offices of financial institutions. And these are the people who protect um, the United States financial industry. They include law enforcement officers and other government personnel. Very important people. I think we need to, to ship some of them here in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> there is so much financial crime in this country. It is alarming. I mean, I mean you, you will not be wondering how we will manage the, the disasters with, with the ones that think the human beings are bringing by themselves. Because Absolutely. And on that note of financial crime, I want to quickly take a story that I found in the news. Because I have two okay. stories today. One is the CBN governor right um yeah. there is a circulation that has gone out that said um the cbn governor would release um new naira banknotes yeah uh -huh. new notes <laughs> <laughs> and i think this is supposed to happen on the 22nd of um, the okay so the new banknotes once circulation begins uh, mid december 2022 all banks are therefore expected to keep open their currency processing centers uh, from Monday to Saturday so as to accommodate all cash that will be returned by their customers. So what they are saying, if you have any cash that you are stolen, that you are going to hide somewhere, <laughs> CBN yeah. is rebranding the Naira notes. They are redesigning some Naira You'll notes. So, I, I mean, <laughs> as I said earlier, the kind of financial crime we have in this country, I just need this expert to come to Nigeria. But we're having an expert that will come to talk to us about this on Friday. But I just thought to mention it that we've seen the story. We're just waiting for our SME and Business Finance Day, which is Friday, to discuss it. So here you go. If you have any money that is with you, old Naira notes, go and return it to the bank. You can, you can send it away. We want the money. We'll send it for you. <laughs> Absolutely. So, Alera, what did you find? Then I'll take my second story. Oh my God, the, the news, in fact, my news is, is a bit, in fact, it's sad and disheartening and scary. Um, so this morning, a police uh, began investigation on as Max gunmen allegedly ad, ad, abducts Lagos motorists on broad daylight. Apparently, this happened today, um, right in, in front of slots uh, in Computer Village in Ikeja, Lagos State. Um, some unknown um, gun, gunmen, they were holding guns and cutlass, and they actually abducted a, a, a man that was just on his way to work. Apparently, um, the kidnappers actually used cutlass to dismember his, his leg. And in fact, this, this thing happened in broad daylight and people were just looking and they couldn't do anything mm. about it. And that, that also boils down to where is this country really heading to? Because if this kind of thing is happening, and I'm sure there are police stations around that location, there's like two or three around that medical road. And this happened in broad daylight. Human beings, people were watching another human being being abducted and being dismembered by a, by a kidnapper. And like this is security now. It's a call for alarm that nothing is happening and things are still going on. But I want to ask Calero, are you sure this is a case of kidnap or outright murder? Like maybe somebody just sent the people to assassinate. Because if you're kidnapping no, right. someone, right, why would you dismember the person's uh, body parts? Exactly. Exactly, but but in broad daylight, like these people, these people are not afraid of the law. And mm. is there even a law? Hmm. So these are the things that we talk about when we say that you know um, Nigerians should be a bit wiser as we draw yeah. close to the 2023 general elections. Because you see, these things are real. And some people will say, no, it can never happen. You can never tell As because by the time it comes to your nose, you will then know that these things are actually possible and it, do, it, it does happen, right? So it's, it's really sad. I, I was really it's scared so when I saw that story and I was wondering, hey, where, where is safe? You know, where is safe in this country? Exactly. Right, so, so, I mean, um, this morning, as early as 4.30, I woke up... <laughs> Because I didn't get fuel yesterday. I had um, come, out of, uh, come back from out of state. And I didn't yeah. even realize there was scarcity until I got into oh. Lagos and I realized there was scarcity. So I had, uh, so I, I, I had um, what's it called, a very low fuel tank. But thankfully, yeah. I called my 
you know, these kind of people just make sure you just give them small, small money because they come in handy one of these days. So I called him. Mm -hmm. He was so excited to hear my voice. Oh, madam, yes, 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 yes. Well, they are discharging. So as early as 4.30 this morning, um, oh, no, not 4.30. I tell a lie. I set my alarm for 4.30, but I didn't wake up at 4.30. <laughs> I woke up at 5.30. <laughs> I woke up at 5.30 and I went straight to the fuel station to get the fuel. And as early as that time, the queues was really, really long. So my story, Lasma is warning motorists, right? And telling them that, right. please, they should not cause gridlock. Because now, you know, automatically when there's fuel crisis, there's mad traffic. Mad traffic. Yeah. Like, the thing does not correlate in my head. Is it not when you do not have fuel that you should be mad and say, you know... Uh, you know, people will be on the queue now, and then you know how the Russians are. They are everybody's impatient, and everybody expects to be treated uh, with, special. With VIP. So there's a queue, but you will jump the queue because you have gone to the front to go and uh, give uh, one of the, the, the foil attendants money so that you, you can quickly jump queue. And before you know, the people in front will not come across chaos and say... We met you here, we met us here before you drama, chatted. Why are you throwing everywhere. why are you throwing jabs at me now? After I told you I called somebody. <laughs> <Are> you? <laughs> <laughs> but hey, the Lagos State Management um, uh, Traffic Management Authority has cautioned motorists queuing up for fuel at different fuel stations against causing traffic gridlock to other road users. The general manager of Lasma Bology Oreagba in a statement said that while deploying more officers to monitor the traffic around fuel stations across the state. It, dis it disclosed that the deployment became imperative following reports of long queues around fuel stations causing um, motorists parking indiscriminately and blocking roads while queuing up um, and waiting to buy fuel. So please, motorists, we're just begging. You know, do it with decency. I cannot speak to what Alero said because it's like she was <laughs> she was there when I was right. <laughs> I was shading in... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hey, my dear, I'm a woman. Early five thirty in the morning. Uh, 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 uh. No, you know, you know that we all like to be baby girls now. No, it's not even that. Great. I had called ahead of time, and guess what? Immediately I got there, I was the first person to just drive into the station. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> but hey, okay. I I did not cause any gridlock. All right, so yeah, do it with nobody, discretion. Nobody abused you now. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks. <laughs> we'll go on a break now. I mean, let's discuss relationship matter. Honestly speaking, yes. these things are really troubling for me, but hey, we have to talk about it. Stay with us. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back.